Hi guys, it's me again with some more models. Uh, just thought I'd show you these. Um, obviously, they're the uh, Met Guns um, leftovers from um, a set of Met Guns that one of my that one of my friends has commissioned me for. And um, I've done another video before using the truck models now. Don't get me wrong, I've been on the internet, I've had a look at what people have been doing with the mech guns and the truck models. And there's loads of videos out there showing you how to make, make them. So go and have a look at them and then go make your own. Um, but this is just my version of them. And to be quite honest with you, I've only used the truck parts um, very sparingly, believe it or not. Um, most of the conversion work that I've done now is, is with plastic card and the white stuff is the plastic card. So I'm going to push these to the back um, and then I'm going to talk through each gun. Um, so I'll go, go for this one first. Um, I, I've used the cupola part of the truck there because um, it's round, nice and round and I've put some tubing coming in and some bits supports there and it's quite difficult to see what I'm trying to achieve until it's painted and then you'll be like actually that works really well so um, again I've used a little bit of plastic card in here for the support of these two parts of the truck it just it just makes it a stronger model that's all because they're not worse because let's let's remember these models are going to be picked, constantly picked up put down picked up put down and packed away got out they're, they're, they're a, a you do you know what i mean so they've got to be fairly strong um i've seen some models that aren't that strong uh, well, they don't look strong at all, but these are so. Look again. I've put. I use some more plastic card there as a support for the base of that. So, so that's the first one. And also, what I've tried to do as well is try to keep them really small um, to the same size of what the other mech mech guns are. Um, so, for for instance, like the back the backs of these um, were boarding planks. I've cut them off just to keep the gun. Um, shorter as well and the balance of the gun is only just at the back because as you can see it's slight pushing down on that it, it brings it over balances so it's only just at the back okay so I think that one turned out really really well um, again you can see the balance of the of it it's only just just right so if that was on a downward hill that would constantly fall over so this this one is mainly plastic card um, with a bit of bit of a um, uh, truck model um, and again try and get the light right so I've, I've done quite a bit of detailing work down here I've chipped away at, at the sides of this to make it look like metal that's been cut um, this one appears to look look like it's shooting downwards, but it's not. It's it actually sits just nicely. Um, it's the way angle of the camera. Some exhaust bits there, the control panel there. So again, yeah, that one I really like that one. Um, and this one's looking a little bit different this time. So I've gone with putting these these panel things at the back of the wheel rather than at the front of the wheel just to make it look a little bit different and also what I did to help it with the strength of it because that is quite strong um, I stuck some plastic card actually to this before I stuck it to the side and I made sure it was a flat side incorporated the back part of that there so it's on there and yeah um, there's a spare bit there from the mech gun itself I used that in, in cooperation with the actual gun give it some detail work I think that turned out I like that one as well I think that really turned out quite nicely uh, this one again similar setup to that one um, yeah some I did some exhaust things here did a little fuel tank back here um, 
put some extra bits on the edge played around again another good one really like that one if, to be honest with you <laughs> again I'm being quite vain I like them all I really do like the way this turned out um, another good one this one looks quite mean again I've used these side panels I've just trimmed them down with my micro saw um, stuck them on put a bit of detail a bit of support beam going across done some bits and bobs on it yeah it'll look really good these will look really good when they're painted up guys I swear down and I'll put loads of photographs on as well I'll do a photograph video um, again with the cupola thing um, yeah made, made up a bit of detail just it's just junk stuck together and again this is another one of them ones with the front lens like this I really liked that one so I did the same thing with that one turned out really really well and um, that's the obviously the engine for the truck truck model really really well yeah really like these right um i said i would do these for my friend for six hours of work and six hours of painting and most of you know i, I do them i pay a charge at five pound an hour um this these have taken a lot longer than the time I've said um, yeah hell of a lot longer than the time I've said so I, w I won't be doing these again it, uh, it's it's just if I made, made them for myself I would but to, to fund my addiction into models this doesn't fund my addiction um, so again I, I won't be doing these again it's just these took just far too long to do and make um, so so yeah um uh, these are a one off um and like you guys should know I don't play the game so I will I won't be making these for myself so, so, so yeah um again uh just take your time with them guys if you make your own uh, and just if if you want when I get the photos up just follow the photos that I've done and just get yourself some nice plastic card um, don't buy them signs. The signs, the plastic card sign stuff is just rubbish. Um, if you want to make really nice looking models, really decent looking models, you've got to get yourself some really nice, decent looking, uh, decent plastic card. Um, that's all I'm going to say on the matter, guys. You, you can buy plastic card in different thicknesses. Uh, once you find a good supplier, just stick with them. Uh, I mean, I know that there's some people that go out and buy the signs. There's no wrong with buying the signs. Don't, don't get me wrong. They work for what you need them for. But to make good quality models, um, then you need to get a little bit more than them signs. All right, guys. Anyway, that's it. Um, I hope you like them. Happy Christmas, everybody. All right. Speak to you later.